Have you ever wondered what's the best barrel proof product the Buffalo Trace makes? Well today, I'm going to find out and also one of you are going to find out as well because I'm going to be giving away a sample of all four of these bottles to one lucky winner. But let's get into today's sample. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Neat Bourbon. My name is Tanner and today I'm super excited to do this blind. I haven't done this before. I'm going to be blind flighting, you know, four of the barrel proof offerings that Buffalo Trace makes. Basically all of the ones that are non-BTAC and that are still allocated, so excluding the benchmark. I um, wanted to throw this Stag Junior in here as well because it is a store pick. So it is, you know, pretty special. But this is the top tier of the Blanton's line. I know there's a, you know, the, the big stag, but we're going to use Stag Junior store pick. This is the top end of the Weller line, and then we got the E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof. So kind of like the, the four hardest bottles to find, like within their own lines of Buffalo Trace. This is the Barrel Proof Batch 8. came out in 2019. It's 129.7. Uh, the Stag Junior store pick is 129.8, and then no way, this is 129.6 of uh, the straight from the barrel. So these are basically all three the exact same proof, and then you've got the Weller full proof coming in at 114. So underproofed here, but still want to see how it fares to the competition. So today I'm going to be doing the very first channel giveaway. That's right, I'm going to be giving away a one ounce sample of all four of these bottles to one lucky winner. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed to the channel. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And then comment down below, Neat Bourbon. I'm gonna run this for two weeks. At the end of the two week period, I'm gonna run all the names to a random number generator, pick out the winner, I'll get in touch with you, and then I'll be mailing you a sample of all four of these bottles. So if you haven't had them, this is a great opportunity. We got the E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof. Uh, this is batch eight from 2019, Weller Foolproof Stag Junior Store Pick <clears throat> in Blanton Straight from the Barrel. So those are the bottles that I'm going to be mailing out to one of you lucky winners. But anyways, back to today's video. We're going to go ahead and get into these. So into glass one. Man, that is like vanilla frosting. Vanilla frosting with brown sugar. Also like a lot of like sweetness undertones there as well. That is a flavor explosion. Um, it's like your first just like punched with, uh, you know, that that signature, you know, maraschino cherry. Then getting like a lot of like barrel char, like spice, like like almost like, like barrel spice, you know, kind of like dancing around all over the tongue. So that is just a monster of uh, flavor there. But um, go ahead and get into glass two. Yeah, the nose on the glass too is a little bit softer. Yeah, it feels a little bit soft, like that vanilla frosting that's so apparent on the first glass, but this one just feels like a, like a more, you know, I don't know, rounded out nose. It's a lot sweeter there with like the cherry and like the cinnamon. So let's go ahead and get to the palate. Cheers. Damn. And that is awesome. I mean, like, it has a more velvety mouthfeel. This glass here was just, like, kind of, like, punched in your face, you know, with, like, that maraschino cherry, that barrel char, a little bit of, like, that oak, and, like, the heavy vanilla frosting nose. This one kind of, like, takes a step back. Like, the edges are a lot more rounded. It's, you know, velvet. You're getting so much of that, like, sweetness transfers over to the palate. This is very desserty. Uh, glass here. I mean, those are for how similar they taste. They're just, you know, kind of very, very different as well. Let's go ahead and get into the third glass. Damn. Yeah, getting a lot of uh, oak on the nose on this one. Yeah, like some barrel char as well. But still getting a lot of, you know, the underlying sweetness from, you know, you would expect from a buffalo trace. That's really interesting. Could have sworn this one was kind of thinking me it was going to be the foolproof 
Now this one just came across like light on the palette, whereas this one was still very robust. Um, yeah, this one again is just very velvety on the palette. Hit with a lot of that maraschino cherry. It's just like this glass feels like that glass just kind of like amps down a little bit, it, it feels like. Um, yeah, I would definitely put these two ahead of glass three for right now. Let's go ahead and get into glass four. Man, that is spicy. And again, like not really picking up any any ethanol on any of these. Yeah, this has got this is heavy vanilla again on the nose. It reminds me a lot of you know glass one. Whoa. Man. I don't know. I mean that is <clears throat> Like a flavor explosion as well. Um, not quite as like deep and robust. Uh, like that red berry note is very spicy, which kind of like draws me back to you know one of those like cola notes that a lot of people say that like Stag Juniors get. That sort of like high level of like barrel spice and like the brown sugar molasses sweetness there with like that red fruit on the palate but not being like red fruit dominant. All those things mixed together with that barrel spice gives me that kind of like cola note. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I think these two are like right in line with each other. I might be putting this glass, glass two a little bit ahead. And then this one, you know, I think it's just didn't quite have the same flavor explosion as the others. But anyways, I'm going to go back all through these, have some water, sip them back and forth. And then we'll regroup with my final thoughts. Welcome back, guys. So I've had an opportunity to go through all these things several times, and I think I've come up with my order. All I've got to say is I'm kind of like splitting hairs here. These are all amazing. I loved every single one of these. Like, whoever comes in last, not a bad pour. I would have it any day of the week. I'd be happy to have it. So anyways, um, if I have to guess, uh, I'd go E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof. I honestly don't know. Uh, I'm going to say this one's the Weller Full Proof just because of the proof. I have no idea what this one is. I don't know if that's the Stag Sore Pick or if that's the Blanton Straight from the Barrel. I thought the flavors were a little bit stronger in this, but this had like the velvety mouthfeel that would remind me of the Full Proof. But this one just drank lighter, which is why I'm calling this one, you know, the Full Proof. So I don't. I would almost say that this would be the stag pick and then that this would be straight from the barrel. I don't know. I haven't had straight from the barrel in a while. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. So fourth place, got letter C. Well, they're foolproof. All right, got one. So again, they just came across a little bit light on the palate. So I think the proof kind of gave that one away. Um, C, uh, or not, this is glass C, so our glass, well, third place. Glass A. Ugh. So this is straight from the barrel. Dang, really? Yep. Yeah. Right there. STFD. Wow. Hmm. Huh. That's really interesting. Okay, cool. So, uh, I just thought that this was very similar to glass, the, the winner. This was just like amped up just deliver like on every level above it. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get in to second place. Glass D. Oh no! This was the E.H. Taylor. Dang, so that means the winner of Glass B is the Stag Junior store pick. Dang it. Man, I did not do well on that one. Crap, but yeah, this E.H. Taylor full proof, I mean uh, E.H. Taylor barrel proof, this had the best mouthfeel. It like reminded me, you know, of, <clears throat> of of the Weller, but just God, it was just so well rounded. Love that. It, this was, it was really close picking between those two. But man, I can't believe the Stag Junior Store Pick came out on top. This is uh, you know, a little over eight years. Whew. All right, well, sorry about that. So we're gonna go ahead and replace these. So you got foolproof came in last. Then in third place, you had straight from the barrel. Second place, 
He had the E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof. And then in first place, the Stag Junior Sort Pick. Man, what a great blind. I just, I could have sworn that this one was going to come out on top because every time that I like, the profiles I get on the E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof are just like, so in your face punchy with like that red berry sweetness and a whole lot of barrel spice and that's what i was getting off this glass one but in the blind today this the barrel proof just tasted so velvety which is like uncharacteristic to me when i like i taste it by itself anyways guys love doing this blind for here here today um and as always go ahead and subscribe and comment down below neat bourbon if you want to be entered into the chance to win a sample of all four of these bottles here today. Um, always, guys, this is Neat Bourbon. My name's Tanner. And pop the bottles and share the pours. And we'll see you in the next one.